Yes, my name is Jane Francis Namatovu. I am a lecturer and the head of the department in Makere University College of Health Sciences. Um, the family medicine provides health for all. Everyone deserves good health care. And uh, most of this we appreciate over a period of time and one of the biggest things is that when we are given an opportunity to practice the principles of family medicine, the other aspects of family medicine like patient-centered care, we find it more fulfilling to see a patient other than it being a task. So it makes the work of seeing patients also enjoyable. Um, an example of a patient I saw was a, a, a woman who was 60 years old. She came in with the, she, she, she was having a headache, she was crying, and uh, also she was uh, <clears throat> having some kind of like, um, she complained of palpitations. So, and she was brought in by the son who was uh, about 40 years. And uh, after the son brought her in his vehicle, he left the sisters who were younger to look after her. So, and that was an outpatient. So when we did uh, <clears throat> the general examination, we found that uh, all her medical parameters were normal, the blood pressure was normal, the temperature was normal, Everything, she didn't have anemia, she didn't have anything that was indicative of anything pathological. So, and uh, when we asked about how the disease started, the daughters told us that it has been there only for two days. And uh, so we, me and my colleague, we thought and started thinking what could be the problem. So we tried to ask them, the, the, the lady, that. What do you think has brought on this this attack, which is just two days? And then the mother, the, the woman said that, uh, I'm not so sure, but I'm feeling a headache. I actually want to be admitted. So when she started asking for an admission, we decided to involve the family members. And one of the things we had found out is that she's staying in the home with her husband and uh, one grandchild. Uh, the grandchild was about four years, so as we were doing our interviews, they are uh, interviewing the, the, the lady, the son came in and then uh, we asked him what led to him to bring the mother into hospital. And then he did uh, his explanation, but after some time he said, but there's one thing that I think may have triggered off this that my father, my mother has sold uh, some coffee beans, <clears throat> I think about two teams, and she got some good money. So after she got the money two days earlier, she came and checked on her money and it was not there. And the only person she suspected was her husband. So she went and talked to the husband, the husband became very rough and denied having taken the money and and they were in the house, they were the only two adults. So she became hysterical and just started having all these symptoms and so she decided to call the son. So uh, in the conversation, we decided to now come back to, to the 60 year old lady. We asked her about the money and she confirmed that the husband had taken the money. And then when, when we asked the son why the husband hasn't come along, the husband, the, the son said, well, that they had a disagreement, so he doesn't want to get involved in this whole circus. So we had, we, we gave her a place to rest. We explained to the son and the daughters what's going on. And then in the, about like two, two hours later, we just gave her a, a, an, an analgesic for the headache. And then two hours later, we decided to sit down with the sisters, the daughters, and one of the under son and we tried to make them help her uh, patch up with, the, with their father 
but also ensure that uh, she gets back her money or in one way or another understand, make the husband understand that this is bringing on these symptoms. And the son, who was 40 years old, promised us that he's going to do that. Luckily enough, the following week we didn't see him, we didn't see her back in the clinic. So we thought all is well. And I think that was very important as a, as a, as a clinician to, to find that sometimes the patients we have in front of us don't necessarily have pathological causes of their symptoms, but there are many other things that you must explore as a family physician or any other health worker so that you don't, uh, because one of the, I think one of the clinicians we had, okay, he's a lower card, but he was suggesting, oh, you know, I think we need to give this patient as a palm, we need to give all that, because uh, they are trying to treat this, the symptoms without getting the root cause. And so when you apply the principles of family medicine, which are good for all health workers, you find that the practice becomes more interesting. And so I think as a discipline, that helps us to give good health to our communities and the patients we care for.